morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Wild Bill's Fishing. I am Wild Bill, your host. Guys, I apologize. I haven't posted a video in a long time. Not because I hadn't want to, but because I hadn't been able to. I've just been busy. A lot of y'all may know that um, I'm an air conditioning technician, and when it gets hot, we work, and we work a lot. I just came off a 12-day stint, 12 to 14 hours a day. So... I am really, really happy to be able to come out here and do some fishing. So today is July 25th, 2020, and I've decided to come to Table Rock because Table Rock Lake is only about five feet above its normal power pool, whereas Bull Shoals and other lakes are more like 25 to 30 feet above their power pool, and so a lot more of the forest, the woods are in the water and it makes it really really difficult to find fish not that you can't catch fish you can find them and catch them but it's it becomes difficult so I've come up to Table Rock the problem with Table Rock Lake in the summertime is there's usually so many boats uh, a lot of the wake boats and it can make fishing very difficult um, so I've gotten up here early I'm going to do some fishing early see what we can get into I predict that today we're going to catch a lot of short fish. That's usually the story on Table Rock up here. Catch 50 and 60 short fish, maybe two or three keepers. Keepers are 10 inches and longer. So guys, today, as usual, I'm using a 12-foot rod. And the rod that I like to use is made by Ozark Rod Company. Need to go online and check them out. They make a good quality rod. I really like these rods. They're good looking rods. You got good cork handles. 12 feet is what I use with a 16th ounce jig. Now guys, I do have a reel on the rod. This is a bait caster. I don't use it for casting, obviously, not with a 12 foot rod. What I do use it for is more of a cane pole, but this allows me, and I keep the drag super loose, and this just allows me to really conveniently let line in or out, depending on how deep I'm fishing, uh, and then I can reel one in. Or if you hook a big old fish, like I've hooked nine pound stripers on this, set up here and was able to let them run and bring them back and finally get them in the boat and land them. So the line that I'm using is a high visibility uh, crappie max six pound and the jigs that I'm using are just some old 16th ounce jigs. We like the red eye and the Bobby Garland skirts and that's what we're going to be using today. I've already got a buoy dropped on the uh, first brush pile so Let's go see what we can get into. Let's go fishing. Yes. Plenty biting like I thought they were going to this morning, that's for sure. What do you do? You just fish. He made it. I'm telling you. Oh, there is so many shad. I mean, you can't hardly see anything on your graph for all the shad that's down there. It's just schools and schools and schools of shad. It's crazy how many shad are down there. That's what you're competing with. He was a keeper, by the way. another one. Feels like a decent little crappie. Oh boy. I reeled too much in. Can you tell I hadn't fished in a while? 
He look good. Number two. I think he'll make it. All right. Well, see. looks like I found a brush polish producing a few. Took me a little bit. And it's taking me a little bit to get back in the groove. Keeper. He'll be a keeper, guys. <clears throat> yep, I think he'll be a keeper. All right. I didn't even measure him. Enticing. You really got to entice him. Boom, baby. He'll be short. He'll be a keeper, guys. <clears throat> yep, I think he'll be a keeper. All right. Ain't gonna make it, guys. Pretty fishing. Pretty fish, nonetheless. Hey, guys, one way to stay cool out here when it's so warm is to get these uh, cooling towels. And here is what I'm using. What you do is you take it, you get it wet, throw it around your neck, let it keep you nice and cool. Give them a shot. I think they work for me. Oh, that's a good fish there, guys. <laughs> I say it's a good fish. It ain't that good. He hit hard. Boy, he hit hard. He's a fighter, too. Uh, let's get that look out of you. He won't be no 10 inches. No 10 inches. That'll be a keeper crappie. Get in here, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I do believe you'll be a keeper crappy. Let's put them in the mix. That gives us six. Put them in the mix. That gives us six. That's a good fish, I think. Another. Nah, he won't be a keeper. He'll be close to a nine. Go on, buddy. Magnolia. Hey guys, so that's it. I fished about five hours. I've caught about 20, 22 crappie with six keepers. That's not bad for up here on Table Rock. Usually you'll catch 50 fish, five keepers. So um, I think uh, the odds were better for me today. Anyway, uh, a lot of boat traffic is picking up, a lot of them big boats and everything, and so the wakes make it harder to fish. Um, so I'm gonna call it a day. I'm kind of surprised. Water temperature was 87 degrees. I caught a lot of these fish. Somewhere's around uh, 12 to 15 feet. Normally they're down there around 25 to 30 feet. But this live scope is a game changer. Um, we're not fishing as deep. We can see fish, we can target them, catch them, but even without the live scope, just fish your brush piles, fish your structure, and uh, you'll catch some fish. Anyway, I'm gonna load this boat up and get to the house. Guys, thank you for watching. Sorry it's been so long. As the summer goes into fall here, I'll be making some more videos, catching some more fish. Weather cools down, it'll be a lot better. Until next time, you guys get out and do some fishing of your own. Thanks.